Hello once again everyone and welcome to a new series, welcome to Divine Divinity. This promised to be a series um, maybe similar to the one I'm doing currently on Baldur's Gate 3, however, I don't think it will be as in-depth as it is the other one. Um, it's kind of difficult. It's it's fairly difficult to be understanding lore and whatnot. I am going to call it, instead of a lore series, I wanted to call it a story series. So that way I can... I, I think it, it, it will be fun. It's, as I said, it's not going to be as uh, thoughtful. I am going to be explaining a lot about the story. A lot of things that you may miss. But in the end, this is this has the same goal, and it's to understand lore and story through the game. Um, I am going to try and make a short series. Sorry to make this introduction so rushing, but I just want to get going. So I'm going to be cutting and editing a lot. The game is really extensive, and you have to go through a lot of um, dungeons and and stuff. Basically, I don't want to call it farming, but it's that that's the point because it is actually quite necessary to to advance, you know, at some point you are not going to be able to um, keep going forward because you are sort of a under level and whatnot. But yeah, as I said, it, it's the idea is to make a story series to understand and explain just like in Baldur's Gate 3 I've been studying a little bit <laughs> not, not gonna lie like multi small multi small gaming it's a great channel that's been really helpful and yeah like the, the the goal is to finish the game to explain story as we go to talk about it and yeah, I really hope you can enjoy, you follow me on this new journey, so let's begin. I am going to go with the um, They call me a witch with the mage. I'm a woman and an enchantress because I'm pretty. Damn them, I deserve as much respect as any male wizard. The land is sick, and in using magic to heal it, I'll earn their admiration. So as you might have seen in the cinematic introduction, the canonical character would be this one. That would be the right thing to do for the series especially. But the thing is, and yeah, you can you can call me names if you want. But it's just way easier to go through with the mage. I did play with the, um, with the warrior. I actually play a bit on stream. But yeah, it's just... Um, for the meanings of the series, it's just going to be way easier to go through with uh, the mage. And... Uh, well, yeah, they... very well. So, as you saw in the cinematic, uh, the cinematic with the angel and the well, the woman and the other guys, I will be explaining it, but not just yet because we are going to be seeing a couple of things that might, mm, what would you call it, like. It would sort of hint us towards what's going on. But yeah. The thing is, the cat we just saw, uh, apparently he went to 
to tell his master or something of us and we woke up in this basement we picked up a, a couple of gold there a few um sandals or whatever and a knife but yeah let's go up here you have a few things you can pick it up uh from the get-go dear joram Visitors are no longer coming to Alaroth due to the uh, gathering of orc raiding parties in the woods. I am of a mind that we should think to uh, ask Ducal Army for assistance. Surely it is just a matter of time before those foul orcs will attack the town. Regards, Lanilor. Well, we got a few gold there. I'm gonna pretend like we did nothing. It's a potion of healing there. Uh, just like in the Baldur's Gate 3 series, I'm gonna be uh, opening all the books, so interest the interest people in, in reading them all, you can feel free to post. I am not going to be reading them myself, but I will be reading things that are important, so just like back then, feel free to post it. Some of the things here are actually kind of like hints on secrets and stuff about the land. Ah, my friend, you're awake at last. How are you feeling? Oh, who are you? <laughs> who are you? How did I get here? My name is Joram. I'm one of the healers here. As to how you got here, well, it's an odd tale. Three days ago, while I was searching for some herbs on the edge of the forest, a small white cat drew my attention. I mean, it actually seemed to want me to go with it. I followed it cautiously and literally stumbled over your unconscious body. I immediately brought you back here. It was lucky for you that cat was watching out for your interests a little longer and you'd have been food for the kites. Right. My thanks for saving my life, such as it is. I'm in your debt, friend. You're welcome. And don't be glum, whatever your problems are. If I hadn't found you when I did, with the help of good fortune and a cat, you'd be stone dead by now. We healers have a saying. As long as you've breath, you've reason to be happy. What is this place? You're in my house in Alaroth, a small community of healers. In normal times, this place would be bustling with activity, but things have been rather quiet due to the recent troubles. What are these troubles you're talking about? You mean apart from the orc bandits infesting the woods and the fact that we've lost contact with the source? Well, our leader, Mardanius by name, seems to have gone... How should I put it? Well, uh... He seems to have gone as crazy as a loon. Okay, guys, so already a few things that you might want to keep at hand. Um, we've lost contact with the source. You might want to remember that. Our leader, Mardinius by name, seems to have gone crazy. Mardinius is crazy? Yes, that's the only way to put it. He's constantly raving about dark chambers and evil spirits. And he thinks everybody is a servant of the dark powers. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he's been possessed by a demon. Of course, uh, that can't be true. Nobody has gone down with possession in, in centuries. That's strange indeed. Is there, any, is there anything I could do to help Mardanius? Well, that's good of you, my friend. And I don't want to sound rude, but we are, after all, professional healers. If we can't help him, I doubt a simple adventurer could do better. And then again, so far all our efforts of curing him have failed, and the man is in constant mental pain. Maybe strange illnesses must be cured by strange methods. Right. Where can I find my Daniels? Follow the street outside my house, a little bit to the south, and then go west. 
His house is next to the old well. Okay. This is a trading um, system. We got nothing so far, but yeah, we picked up a couple of gold there. Take care. Uh, before you go, I couldn't carry your belongings with me when I brought you here. Feel free to take anything you find necessary from my house. We healers believe in sharing what we have with the needy. Thank you, my friend. Oh, you're very welcome. You can always repay me later if you feel in my debt. Perhaps you should pay George a visit. He has a small shop and could provide you with some basic gear for a reasonable price. But I'm sure an adventurer like yourself will find ways of making enough money, even here in poor Alaroth. Ah, where does George live? He lives in the southeast of the village, near the gate. Southeast. My thanks again. Goodbye. Very well. Restore Mardinius' sanity. It's the first. Uh... We read that already. That is the first uh, sort of mission. So yeah, if you press the Alt button, you can see everything that is in the room. Oh. Mardinius, my poor old friend. What are you doing outside? What? Oh, oh, oh. it's you, Lanino. I, I was... Oh, he will come. The end is upon us. The voice acting Shinoi. is the best. You're raving, Mardanius. You must take more rest. Come, let me take you home. But Nemesis is near. We must be vigilant. We must be pure. We must... Um, Behave! Oh. What did you say, Lanido? Rest? Oh, yes, I could try to sleep. If only the voice in my head would be silent. Well, he's not feeling well, right? Uh, another thing I would like to mention before anything, it's that, as you can see, the game, uh, well, the video, it's... Beware, dangerous dwarf to the north. Signed, Lanelor. Well, the game, it's, uh, the video is recorded in 1080p. The game is not running in 1080p. Uh, the reason is because, uh, when putting the game on 1080p or above, uh, everything is too tiny. The character, um, text, and it's extended screen as well. Uh, I see it entirely, but in obvious is black uh, band and I stretched it so let me know if that's a Be problem there. let me know if you would prefer um, small models and higher resolution on a video all those things uh, alongside the audio please this is a new series and I have everything configured differently so let me know Very well, let's let's go and see about Mardinius. This this uh, black thing in the screen, it's um fog of war. And it cleans uh, as we go through. We have a map. There. It's a bit big for this resolution, quite frankly, but there it is. Oh. Mordanius, my friend. Did you drink the herbal tea I prepared for you? Oh, look. Here they come. Oh, big arm, foul creatures. Oh, dear. Come, Mordanius, I'll feed you the medicine myself. Doom and destruction. <laughs> <laughs> you. Oh. Thelion has Thelion. Gone, the Lord of Decay! Be gone, foul demon! No, no, it's me, Lanilor! Oh, come, let me make you some more of that hot tea. I will not drink your foul food, <laughs> Thelion! Do you really think you can fool me? <laughs> Taste my power! No, Murdanius, no! <laughs> I am Lanilor! Oh, this is amazing. 
Well, how about that? Oh, stranger, please rescue me from this icy prison. It's getting too cold to bear. <laughs> How can I help you? Only Maldenius can negate such powerful spell. You'll have to get into Maldenius house and convince him to rescue me. Please, I think I'm dying. Hang on. I'll see what I can do for you. Right. Rescue Lani Lord the Elf from the icy prison. So this is Maldenius house. Uh, yeah. The door is locked. And obviously, what we need to do is to save Lani Lord. The door is locked. So how do we get in? Well, let's see if he says anything else. I can find no way into Maldenius house. Tell me what to do. Shaloi, there must be another way. Perhaps you can get in via the cellar. There is an entrance through the well. Right. So that's how you know you go, you're gonna go through this wooden uh, well. We've got a knife, a broken knife. Dirk. And so far. Okay, these are my spells. Got the meteor, me, uh, meteor strike. There you go. Damn. Okay, so there you go. Skeleton. The game has a lot of uh, underground passages and dungeons. Some gold there. Emerald. Oh yeah, and some of these boxes or hay, sometimes you can move them. That I didn't know and it's pretty useful because sometimes you can find like secret passages. Lockpicks. Uh, we cannot lockpick until we learn the, the skill, just so you know. Very well, let's see what else. Look, a key. There's the rats. We don't need to kill them. It's 50 XP, but okay. The amber, the ruby, obviously, all of that thing, it's money. So we, we've been there. Let's see around here. nothing in here but yeah the hood is immense the map as well so let me know if this that if that's a problem i can play without the map yeah any suggestion any critic that you may give it's appreciated immensely get a potion of healing there but yeah there's not much Wonderful. to see that's what the key was for there's not much to see in this first uh his first levels. It's a lot of wine and ale. Contains nothing. And uh, surely through this ladder we make it to the inside of the house. Hold. Um, do I know you? How? What are you doing in my house? No, you don't know me. I got in through those stinking cellars that smell of boiled cabbage. Lanel asked me to ask you to unfreeze him. You see, he's getting rather cold. Boiled cabbage? Ah, the taste of... You're not an agent of Theleron Hanistor. Remember this name, lads. Uh, just a piece of advice. I'll destroy you, creature of darkness. Where's that spell? <laughs> no, no, no. Lanelor, you know, your elven friend. Pointy ears. He needs your help. You've frozen him, and now he would like to be. Uh, he would like to be unfrozen. What's that smell? What? Lanelor? Lanelor? Where is Lanelor? Speak up, stranger. I have you know that I control mighty magic and can and I can kill, but a word. Is that boiled cabbage smell? 
He's just outside. Please calm down a bit. <laughs> there he goes, slow and steady. Thank you, stranger. I thought I was never going to get out of that prison. My feet are still numb. Seven gods. My toes have gone blue. Let me rub them. It hurts. The blood is re uh, returning. That is better. Now what I can, uh, what can I do for you, or my benefactor? Well, can't do much. Uh, what can you tell me about Aleroth? Martinius founded the healer community of Aleroth. His goal was to unite healers of all the races, so that we might further our skills with mutual studies. Well, he didn't cost 150 gold. We don't even have that amount. I'm going to scout around a bit and I'll return when I have some more questions for you. We can also trade with him. We don't really have anything. We could sell the ember and the... And the other thingy. But he doesn't have enough. Yeah, he doesn't have for that. He's just giving this one. Right. We finish this one. Restore Mardinius sanity. That's gonna take a while. In the meanwhile, let's get rid of some of this fog of war. Oh, and you can do in the map this thing. Uh, for example, we are here. This is the well and this is Martinius house. You can just place the note. Just so you don't forget. Like that. That I find to be very useful. Like, I get lost. And I've seen some people that don't. They, they know the you game can't do that. really the well. Stuff right now. Look how my hands are shaking. You didn't pay me for the last delivery, old man. From now on, it's gold on the barrel head before you get your herbs. Understood? Please, I'll pay you as soon as I get the money myself. He's a tax man. I haven't had many customers because of the damned orc raiders in the woods, but I'll sell something soon, I promise. George, don't waste my time. If you don't have the gold to pay me, you don't get your herbs. End of story. Look, perhaps I'll tell my colleagues about your little secret, huh? You wouldn't Ooh. like that now, would you? Please! Just a little bunch on credit, I'm begging you! Look at you, George. You're pathetic. Send for me if you get my money before the cold shakes get you. What are you staring at? Out of my way, Jack Napes. Good day to you, sir. <laughs> Very well. Here I want to go safe. The cat. <laughs> yeah, the cat was following a rabbit or something. Welcome, adventurer. Please come in. Take a look around. I've got the finest wares the land. <laughs> the best prices, too. What's the rumpus? Oh, the fellow that just left is one of my suppliers. We we're just arguing about some goods I ordered. He always increases his price uh, when it's time for him to hand over the goods. Damn, Swindler. They must have been importing goods to upset you so much. Now that's no business of yours. <laughs> Very well. Hello, friend. What do you do for a living? Are you another healer? Oh, I. I was a healer, but I retired from the trade. I've seen enough belly guns and gangrene. To last me two lifetimes nowadays. Uh, well, nowadays I just run this little emporium. Now, you look a handy type. Care to run a little errand for me? There is a discount on all my wares if you help me out. Sounds interesting, friend. Tell me more. I'm in need of a special herb called Trudenai. There's some in Lanilor's garden. But the damn elf doesn't want to give it to me. You know elves. They fisted as dwarves in their own way. Anyway. 
Give me a bunch of those herbs on the quiet. If you catch my drift, I'll make it worth your while. Well, we are in good terms with Lanelor. We just saved him, so... Uh, Alright, but how do I recognize those herbs when I see them? I'm not a herbalist. I that's plenty enough, friend. I'll show you a handful of it. Uh, I've got in my bedroom enough to give you an idea, but not enough for my purposes. Worst luck. Fine. As he leaves the this room, we are free to pillage. Just a quick piece of advice. This one is locked. We press the Alt. We can take stuff. Surely they, it wouldn't be supposed to, to be that the, this way. Yeah, he's got nothing there. Let's get in. There it is, next to the table. Don't move it. It's very fragile. Collect the hairs for George. So this is the George, Drude, and I. Obviously here we cannot uh, loot his scene and he's gonna get mad. But yeah, that's another thing to do. Just so you know, that cat, uh, well, apparently he's, uh, the, that cat from the cinematic, it's from the original Sim games, or at least he's in it. I got no clue. I have not played them. I want to, but my idea, my idea was to go through everything before that. Hence, we are here. Before we go, let's... Let's do the little thing. Greetings, adventurers. My name is Geomo. I don't uh, Gomo. I don't know how to pronounce that. Gomo. I am versed in the art of healing. May I be of service to you? <laughs> this is root. This is just plain root. Okay, but it seems like it's the only option to get dialogue. Hold there, lizard. What are you doing in a civilized village? I am an outcast human. My people are hard race. They have little time for those with gentle natures. Tss. Only in Adeloth could I find succor and teaching in uh, and teaching in the healing arts. Do you know the healing arts? I wish to learn. Woe to us all! All that the power of healing has fallen away from us. The source is tainted, and even my shrine has been infected by evil. The source? I've heard of it, of course. But I do not fully understand what it is. The source is a stream of pure energy. They cure to a uh, to cure a serious wound or disease. The mind of a healer has to leave his body and become one with the flow of the healing power. Uh, you say that your shrine has been infected. What shrine? My shrine provided healing gems for the sick, but now it will not recharge. These precious stones. Right. Only one, char uh, one charge is left now. What are you going to do with the last healing gem? I have in my care a wounded soldier. His name is Simon. And his uh, his hurts could be much aided with these healing gems. So why don't you... Why don't you treat his hurts... Uh, also, the Dwarven Healer is treating another wounded soldier, using up the healing powers of the last gem. On either one of them, would be condem uh, condemning the other one. Right, so they're not healing the guy because the other one also needs, and they cannot make a choice. Basically. Could I use the power of your healing shrine? Ask it yourself, human. The shrine is a magical entity, so it may speak for itself. You'll find the shrine just outside my house. 
Are you unable to do any healings now? The now the source is tainted. Uh, no skill healers. We are. We can still heal simple wounds, but diseases, poisoning, total curses, and the like. Removing those, we cannot anymore. We'll come back. Simon. Right, so night has fallen on us. You may see. Right, so the the source is outside his house. Let's um please out guy. Just, re uh, just removing a little bit of that fog of war. It's very holy cow. I don't remember the cows. But yeah, once we dissipate the the fog, it's no longer there. As you can see in the map. So the shrine should be around... Okay, here it is. Welcome, Seeker. My name is uh, Fenwithus. And I'm the servant of the shrine. Have you come to be healed? Aye. That would be kindness, friend. This is my last healing gem. Use it wisely, Seeker. My thanks to you. So, there is a, a few things we need to do before actually using this. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna show you, of course. First of all, let's have a, a walk around. There is a few things here we can find. A barrel in this key, and there is a locked door. Superb. You see. A hatch. There's the book for the ones interesting. It's a lot of writing for a game book. Okay. Let's see. There you go, some gold. But yeah, nothing else down here. Nope. Oh. What would that sound be? I wonder. However, we read a sign uh, outside landing lords that said um, Dangerous Dwarf to the north. Well, we are north of Aleroth. So let's see if we... Uh, maybe this is the house. Well, it's locked. This door is locked tighter than a dwarf's ale purse. That's right. And we are in looking for a dwarf. Rabbit. So this is the house in which we we woke up. Beware, dangerous dwarf to the north. Signed, Lanelor. That's right. Let's see if we find this guy. Magic mirror. 
There is a book here. Well, if you if you read this, basically what it tells you it's the um, the magic mirror needs. Uh, well, it tells you what you need to do, but I'm gonna show you, so it, it matters not. Oh yeah, and we can sleep on the bed. We cannot sleep in any bed. It's just because that house seems to be abandoned. Oh, look at this guy. Otto. Gods, what's the smell of pig flesh? Oh, there's a human here. What do you want? Do you have a problem with humans? Or are you just obnoxious to everyone in equal measure? The latter. Now, why don't you go and bother the elf? His folk like pointless uh, chattering, and maybe he won't mind your human stink or pig flesh. Uh, you look like a redoubtable healer. Oh. You've heard about the legendary dwarven healing powers. Um, healing powers. Ain't you human? As skilled with. Uh, fl uh, as skilled with flesh as with stone. As they say. Well, they know that you are standing before, uh, before Otho. Holy shit! Regna Forex, Forex, proud servant of the everlasting source. Now that I've noticed a lot of uh, a lot of that everlasting about it, uh, damn me! <laughs> oh my god, it's so difficult to read those. Well, we know what's going on with the source, right? So this guy. Also has a patient here. There, Verlat. Thanks. Right, so uh, now I'm going to tell you uh, what it says on the book that we found beside the, mirror, the magic mirror. So, the source has been tamed or it's been, like, cursed. But the thing is, if we go... Um, to the lizard's house, outside... So this is the lizard's house, and this is the f uh, the source. Here there is um like a pot a puddle. Well, a b a big one. Here, and it seems like the energy, the water, whatever it is, it's like filtering down, right? So what we do. According to the book, it's that. We take the gem. We put it there. Then we take the mirror and we put it there as well. And it produces two. So the mirror basically clones something. Now, we have the possibility of healing both guys. So we're gonna go to the lizard. This is not the lizard. There. Uh, what can I do? Tell me about the wounded soldier. Um, I have in my care a wounded soldier. His name is Simon. Okay, we read that already. Uh, 
right so it didn't give me the dialogue let's let's see about the um, about the dwarf here I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a marker there wait I think it was there I'm I'm not sure now Yeah, this is it. Where's the dwarf? Well, no, it seems like he doesn't give me the dialogue anymore. But yeah, let's heal the guy. Don't tell me, don't tell my fingernails out. I'll cover it. Please let me leave. What's your name? Please, do you promise to stop them beat, uh, beating me? Calm down, boy. Nobody's going to beat you. My name is Verlat. Please don't hit me. Please, Wimper. Be at ease. You were dreaming, my friend. So, yeah. We're going to give him the, the healing gem. So, we got... Uh, because we got two now. Superb! There you are. I don't know how I, how I can ever repay you, my friend. All my wounds are gone. I'm still feeling a bit tired, so I think I'll stay here for a while. But thank you. Thank you so much. If, you, if you're if you ever in Verdistis, remember that, and need, of, and need help, come and see me. There we go. And we level tap. Uh... Things about right, and we got the skills, so there's many things we could do here. But I think that's well, enchant weapon there, that's nice. But I think so far, lockpick was nice, would be nice. So now we, let's talk to the to Otho. Well, he doesn't he doesn't say anything about the the soldiers. What about you, Mo? Well, let's see. Gods, I'm burning with fever. I'm shaking all over. Gods, I don't know how much longer I can stand the pain. What be your name? My name's Simon. Ambush, orcs everywhere. Most of us were butchered in the first minute. I was hit by a poisonous dart. Damn those green skinned bastards. I think they've killed me. Right, so we heal Simon now. Let's see if we can now speak. Good news, I found a way to heal both Simon and Othel's patient. How wonderful! Indeed, that is good news. You have taken a heavy burden from our shoulders. Please, as a reward, let me know. Let, let me give you new insights into the arts of healing. You plainly have an aptitude for it. There we go. By now, we what we should do is um, get the the true the eye. These herbs that George wants. So this is Martinius house. This is Lanilor, I believe. Yeah. And in his garden somewhere should have them.
so yeah this is landlord's house as you can see the map is hiding all of this because we can't we, we can't see we don't go through let me know if it's annoying i'll see if you don't like it i'll see if i can find like a mod or something to to not have none of that through the night there's lots of it well let's pick it up oh whole human what the hell are you doing sneaking around planning Lewis garden he might be just an elf, but that don't give you the right to make free with his herbs. Uh, I have Lanino's permission, the uh, friend dwarf. Really? Uh, what's that you're carrying through the night? What do you need that for? Uh, well, this guy doesn't really get along with the dwarf, I think. Daniel told me he needs it for a potion to help Mardinius. Okay, let's tell him that. I have too much to carry. I must drop some items first. We are encumbered. But let's uh let's go and sell stuff for that matter. We gotta go towards uh George. To give him the through the night. Maybe landlord's here. Let's see. We got lots of useless stuff like this. Got 90 gold. Empty flasks. Hmm. Well, this is not good for anything, really. Right. Hello friend, back again, you wouldn't happen to have those herbs on you, would you? I need them as soon as possible. Uh, I happen to have some of these herbs on me, here you can have them. By the great gods, you don't know what this means to me. Thanks my friend, a thousand thanks. Something you can do, it's for example, this uh, armor. It's a uh, neat ID level to it says. That is to identify it, to see the stats, the damage, and all of that. You just press here and you get it there. But it costs 150 gold, just so you know. We don't even have that much yet. It's locked. <laughs> Right. We should go and talk to uh, Mardinius. Oh, here it is. Release me from this eternal slumber. No, do not fail me. My corporeal form rests in chambers where the shadows dwell. I wish to see the light again. Is there anything I can do for you? Help me to escape from the chamber where the shadows dwell. <laughs> Who am I talking to anyway? There's a place where I'll find myself all alone. The silence is too loud for me to hear. The smell of decay lingers in the air. The lands of the dead are the barren wastelands. There is no sun, no light at all. It keeps asking why am I here. I'll wait for you in the chambers where the shadows dwell. You might want to remember that. There's a key here. I can't use that. I'm not 
not able. Superb. That's the key that we picked up. Cooking recipes. What well, what is wrong with Martinius? He seems quite off his head. I'm not sure. He suddenly started behaving like a madman several days ago. Since then, he has been getting worse. Some of the, uh, some of the more superstitious healers here have been wondering if he's possessed by a demon. Demon, you say? I, it's not as far-fetched as it sounds. It's only recently that some healers have ceased to believe in demons, but intellectual fashion society, hell spawns do exist. Fortunately, they are also very rare in this world. Martinus is constantly muttering mysterious things and his personality has changed dramatically. Those are typical signs of demonic possession. Galat Fingoil. Is there something that uh, can be done to save Martinus? Well, if the demon theory holds water, the catacombs beneath Aleroth might provide a clue. The, they'd be the most likely source. Places of the dead are spiritually closer to the non-corporeal realms, such as hell. Right. What are the catacombs you mentioned? Only a few people here, uh, hereabouts know it, but there's a huge cavern system running beneath our feet at Aleroth. Some of it is an ancient dwarf working, but most of, of it natural. Several years ago, Martinus went and explored down there alone. When he came back, he sealed the entrance and warned us to not go down there. And uh, not go down there ourselves. He wouldn't tell us about what he found down those pits, but whatever it was, it scared him. He once mentioned old catacombs and evil spirits to me, but he would say no more. Well, that's interesting. How do I get into these catacombs? I've only discovered about that recently. During one of his trances, Martinus uh, mumbled something about the catacombs and facing all the dragons to the north. Other than that, I'm afraid I have no idea. Right. Unlock the entrance to the catacombs beneath Aleroth. So, where have I seen... Where have we seen um, dragons here, basically, right beside us? But look, health and mana. What should we do? And this is a, a little bit of a um, an advice that I never did in my first playthrough. Well, I did. I did do it, but later on, when it was like too late and I lost a lot of stuff. This is the place where we were rescued. So this is basically our um, home at the moment. We just go down here. We just slip. Everything is filled. Oh. Right here. So let's see about the dragons. All of them had to be facing north. Get the cat. Low. Okay then. Oh! Holy shit! The cat! Meow! Well, hello there, kitty. You look lonely. Well, yeah, he just killed the fucking rabbit. You, uh, you certainly like that, don't you? See you later, my feline friend. Well, if you talk to the cat, he follows you. Okay, so the dragons. The dragons must be facing north. You know, they do click. Oh. Wait, my human friend. I have something for you. What is it? I've searched through the belongings in my house and I have found this artifact. It might help you uh, in your quests. 
I would like to give it to you as a token of my gratitude for all you've done. This looks like a little pyramid. What does it do? This pyramid is surrounded by a strong magical field. There exists an exact duplicate of this pyramid artifact somewhere else in Rivalon. If you operate this pyramid correctly, it will teleport you to the duplicate. You mean if I use this, I'll be shot across the land like a squeeze scrape it? Yes, in a way. But you will come to no harm. Think of it as a traveling across many uh, leagues in a single step. The pyramid will come in handy if you ever need to get well away from a dangerous situation in a hurry. The pyramids are also the perfect way to travel over long distances. So where is the other pyramid now? Uh, well, to be honest, I never dared to try it myself. Uh, Theofingal. The duplicate could be anywhere, so be careful the first time you use it. You mean for all you know, I might find myself surrounded by orcs or at the bottom of the river? I'm afraid so, but who knows, if you don't want to risk finding the other pyramid the magical way, you might still find it during your travels. If you do, it will become invaluable to you. It's a strange gift, but a, a princely one. Nonetheless, I thank you. Okay. We got another... Another thing. Find the second teleporter pyramid. So, we've been given this. This thing, you gotta either click it or put it in the ground and click it. And it's gonna teleport, it, teleport us to its duplicate. <clears throat> Very well. We open the entrance to the catacombs. So let's get going and see what it does. The cat obviously doesn't follow us down there. It's gonna stay there. Killing rabbits and whatnot. This is another... Another... Dungeon. Oh yeah. Before we go in there... Uh, oh yeah, this is our house. Oh, I'm gonna call it my house. Since this is the place in which we... In which we rest. The most sensible thing to do is to... Get here. And place the pyramid here, but the thing is, we don't know where the other, the other pyramid is. So I want to make a save. And this is the uh, this is the good part about doing a mage. It's that it, everything gets easier. So yeah, let's teleport. Let's see what happens. Well. Shit, I cannot run. But yeah, if you're not playing a mage, you cannot kill them all. You're gonna have to run. That was nice. Try to um, pick it up and teleport back. But yeah, this gives us... Um, more level, more gold, you know, it's easier with a mage. And this is the other stone. So. We left our pyramid in our house. So we had to pick this one up. Right, and we leveled up. You know, nice and simple. No, no, not really need to... To get to... <clears throat> I don't know, like, professional. Enchant weapon. How wonderful! Well, I don't know how that's how that works, quite frankly. Uh, I cannot use it yet. Anyway, we got the luck pick. We got our good old trusty meteor strike. Restoration, bless. 
pretty well. Uh, let's see, let's see about this uh, new dungeon. Which, by the way, we do have a shield. No, we don't. So this door is locked and this is a portal stone I'm not entirely sure where it goes also this is the very beginning yeah this is outside um outside landing lords And there was a locked door in that in that teleporter stone. So yeah, this pyramid is gonna stay here, and we are gonna take the other one. And now we should be going off to the catacombs. Let's try and find out what happened to Marginius. Creepy. The ancient catacombs were abandoned a long time ago, and even I, Marginius, don't dare to enter them any longer. I ordered my disciples to seal the place, because I sense alarming emanations of evil coming from down there. None have returned from the catacombs to report what manner of peril, but I sense it is some entity powerful in magic. I wrote to Duke Ferrell at Stormfield's castle and ask him to dispatch some troops to Aleroth so that the Ducal army uh, might take care of the problem. Unfortunately, Duke Ferrell has so far ignored my request. My request. This book shall stand as a warning to any traveler who enters this place. Turn back while you can. We've already lost half a dozen men trying to explore this pit of evil. Let their sacrifice be enough and God succor their spirits. Signed, Mardinius. Very well, so if Mardenius is, door is locked tighter than a dwarf's helpers. telling us to not go through. I'm not entirely sure what that just did. Maybe we should we should go through. We should go through anyway. Or maybe we don't go through and the series ends here. Thank thank you so much for watching. The end of the, the series. I wonder what that did. Yeah, I cast fireballs, bitches. We're making money here. Oh. Oh, damn you fool. Magic orb. 